Hi guys, uh, I'd just like to uh, introduce to you a little feature I found on my smartphone. I've got the Galaxy S7 by Samsung and um, it's probably available on the Samsung S8 and the new S9 and probably on other smartphones too. Um, but this is a voice recorder and it can be used as a kind of dictaphone or for recording music. On the sample here, uh, I have a, um, a recording of a harmonica piece, and what I want to demonstrate is the ability to do slowdown. Now, I know you can do slowdown on PC with uh, the amazing slowdown or even Audacity, but uh, it's a cool feature to have it on your phone, and this is uh, an inbuilt, inbuilt feature. So, um, to get on with the demo, um, you can see here that um, this track that I've lined up um, is uh, in a waveform, and we'll just set it on play. You can see at the top here, you have a seconds passed on the song. Another cool feature is that you can just drag the wave along and go to any part on the track. So we'll go back a little further. So there's a fast, a little fast section just round about there. So I'll pause it at that sp uh, point. Now if you press a repeat this little button here above the play sign, uh, it puts a green marker up. And pr press play again, and when you've got to the bit you want to stop at, press it again and you'll get another marker. And you can see that uh, it'll just play this on a loop, this tricky section. And um, maybe I've gone, gone too far here, so I can get this handle, drag it back a little bit. Okay. So we've got the bit um, that we're interested in. So the next thing to do is to do the slowdown. Now, if you notice here, there's a 1.0 speed on the right-hand side. So if we press that, uh, you'll see this tab come up. At the moment, it's on 1. But uh, we can drag this back to 0 0.5. So this has really slowed it down now. We'll listen again. So that's quite cool in itself. Now, just pause it again. So what we can do now um, is to, you can actually bookmark the point where the tricky bit starts. So you can go back to the video at any time and it'll take you to that bookmark. It won't take you to this passage. You'd have to sort of cut this again and, um, and play the loop. Uh, and the bookmarker is here. So I just press that and um, we'll go to list. And then it shows you at, uh, at this time <clears throat> where the bookmark is starting. So we'll go back, press Waves to get back to the original file. Now, you could save this par part uh, as a separate file. And the way you do that is to go into Edit. And... You will notice here, it's a very, very small part of the track, obviously. There's a WAV file that you probably can't see running this way and also that way. So the bit we're interested in is between these two black markers. So if we just go to the scissors symbol here, press it, and we can delete the select area area. We don't want to do that. Or delete the dimmed area, and that's the bit either side. So that's what we'll, the option we'll take. And now you see it's um, it's got this loop section. Okay, and then we can just simply save it. Save it as a new file. And it saved it as Lonesome 3 here. Okay, so we'll bring it up as a, as a new file. And you can see the WAV file just the length we want. And uh, we want to adjust the speed again, so... We'll put that right down as low as it goes, onto 0.5, and, um, and then we'll press 
the repeat and drag that back to the start press play and then press the repeat again and now we have the whole file that we're interested in so you could go through each part of this uh, original song just stop that and um, select the pieces that are causing problems you and you want to slow down and you can save these segments all the way through the song as you need them and then bring them up and uh, and practice them at your leisure so uh, that's all for now i hope you found it helpful take care cheers <laughs>